Don't be grumpy. Be nice. Oh! Hey, Snowball, what's going on, girl? Did you eat all your babies? Hello, anyone? <gasps> oh my god, there they are. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Venture. And today is the day we go ahead and check on our white lobster crawfish, yes. Now, based on the title, you're gonna see that they hatched. Like, literally, one million babies hatched again. But this time, they're white. So what we're gonna go ahead and do right now, before we check on the white baby lobsters, is see how the crawfish pond is doing. So here we are at the crawfish pond. Check this out. It's good. We've actually been putting a hurtin' on the water lettuce. As you can see, there's no root systems at all. They're gone. They've been chewing on. What they do is the crawfish will hold on to the long root system, come up around here, and start chewing on the water lettuce themselves. Like literally, like here's the root system, and this helps with the filtration of the actual pond, versus now, this is just a leaf. It's worthless, and this will die out, and then it will bloom another side right here, and continue to grow, and this is great forage for them. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I have some more little shelters for them since there's a lot of lobsters here growing. So we're just gonna drop those there. Whoop, sorry that, I was a little too fast for that one. Sorry guys. And I have another one. So I'm just gonna open this area up here and just drop it right there. Best of luck kids, survive. If I, hopefully I didn't squish anyone. They're really quick, they know what's going on. So what the, once in a while what I do is I throw in some massive ore pellets just like the ones I feed all the crawfish I have upstairs, as well as I feed them the shrimp pellets that I really, really like. So I have some substrate here. I have a beautiful green bucket so that we can go ahead and analyze our beautiful white lobsters. Also have several tanks we set up in preparation of this day, because we need to go ahead and separate the white lobster mom, Snowball, from her babies so that she doesn't continue to consume her babies. Because after like two or three weeks, She's hungry, she hasn't eaten, and she wants to eat something, so the first thing she sees are little babies. So she goes, grabs them, eats them, and we don't want that to happen. So we wanna have a very happy and healthy white lobster to go ahead and throw in a crawfish lobster con. Oh, it's a huge colorful lobster army. So let's go ahead and head upstairs and look at our crawfish. Lobster babies, yeah. So Slayers, before I begin, I wanna go ahead and apologize for the echoing and the noise, cause everything's gone. I'm officially moving out, and most of us have seen the place and everything like that. So, let's go ahead and check out the beautiful monster fish tank. Look at Kylie. Then you have Chris over there. Chris, yes, cause you know, he was mixed. Chris Brown's mixed and light skinned, so I thought, since he's a <laughs> mixture of two, name him Chris Brown. Chris Brown so Chris it is for the Tiger Show and Nose Hybrid. There's Jag, there's Cosmo. There's Rhino, and our favorite fan favorite, Gary, but we cannot forget, Air Juana. Pegasus has now been changed to Juan. You are now Juan, the Air Juana. <laughs> that was like a lot to say, <laughs> that, that hurt me. Now, even though we did name Jag Jag, Lily really wanted to name the Jaguar. McJagger. McJagger, McJagger it is. You are now McJagger. So a little recap, not to confuse everybody. Gary, Kylie, Chris, Cosmo, Rhino, Juan. That is the Slayer's Monster Fish thing, and on top of that, we have the coolest one of all time. Kazira! We cannot forget the man, the myth, the legend himself, the one they call, they fear, the alien fish, Ninja. Oh my gosh, you excited? Oh, 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 easy, buddy, easy, don't do it, don't do it to me. Let's look above. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Hey, hey, don't be grumpy, be nice. Oh! All right, Slayers, so what we have here is another tank. We're gonna add substrate, which I have in that green bucket that's over there. Can you grab it quickly? Bring it, bring it, perfect. We have substrate, which are gonna be good for the crayfish, nice and black, so we can go ahead and see them. Now over here, we have another tank. It's a 15 gallon fluval tank with some cover as well. We're gonna add cover over here as well too. So everywhere is gonna be full of cover for our babies. Exactly, hey look, that's me in the back. Oh, baby. What we're gonna have to do is add some filter floss like I did. I always recommend you do that so they don't get sucked into the filtration and go goodbye and go squish and die. All right, Slayers, so it's time to check out our babies, all of our lobsters as well. So here we have Snowball. She's in there, we'll take her out in a second. But let's check out our blue lobster baby as well. That one's growing very, very, very good. And then on top of that, we have Captain America, which is over here, and we have Papa Smurf. Everyone's doing good. All right, Slayers, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna grab this bucket that's right here, move this over here, 
and I'm gonna see if she has any babies on her, right? I knew that. Just look down below, let's see what happens. One, two, three. Oh, she's a little aggressive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's she at? She's right there. Hey, Snowball, what's going on, girl? Everything Ooh. good? Where are your babies? Did you eat all your babies? She doesn't have a single baby. Oh, man. Look. She is babyless. Uh, okay. I promise you there was tons of babies, guys. We had tons of eggs and everything. Now there's no babies. Um, okay. All right, all right. So I'm not going to be too worried. It's happened before that the babies have been stuck in the media in the filter system. So we're going to go ahead and check back there. Lily, do you have your cell phone with you? I do. We got light. We got flash. Let's check. Right here, we're gonna pick this up carefully. Move this over. All right, let's check on top. I don't see anything above, do you? No. All right, time to check the media. See if there's anything in the media. Anyone home, hello? Hello, anyone? <gasps> oh my God, there they are. Are all of them in there? Let's check. How many do you see? I see at least two, three, four. All right, there's a lot. So guys, good news is they're not all dead. She didn't eat them. But they're here, they're trapped. So they're not really getting that big. So we can't really see them like I did with the blue ones. So what I'm gonna have to do is actually get this sponge out right now. Um, I'm gonna move this light. And we're gonna move this, all right? So so you guys can see them perfectly. I'm gonna have Lily turn on the flash on the phone. Right, you guys see them now? We see them. It is insane. So what I'm gonna do is I need to make sure that this is perfect. Keep your eye on them. I'm gonna move the bucket. Okay. We don't wanna lose any crawfish when I move this. So bear with me. Anyone here? Hello? Anyone? Oh, they're freaking out. Oh, they're getting in there. Look at them. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. We have to turn off the filters. All right, we turn on the filters on all of them. So I don't want them to get sucked up in the filter. You see them? Yeah. All right. There's a lot more than I thought in here. They're all underneath. They're all underneath. <gasps> That's crazy. This is nuts. Look at them. Oh, oh my, my God. God, they're right there. All right, I'm gonna move them right here, carefully. We're gonna have to shake them out real quick. Let's see what else is in there. We have more? There's one floating. Oh, there's, there's more, oh there's tons. Oh my gosh, there's so many at the bottom. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, we have to save them. It's like a rescue mission now. Yeah, they're jumping around. All right, cool. So you gotta bear with us, look at them. They're in here. Oh my gosh. There's so many of them. There's so many of them, guys. Check that out. There's literally hundreds. Close to millions. So now we have a problem. In the biomedia, all of the lobsters are in there. Oh man, I see one right there. <laughs> so oh. I have to shake this out. Hello? Oh, Look at them. See? They're in the biomedia. So if you ever have crawfish babies and they disappear, always check your media. The sponges and everything, because they could be hiding in there. Guys, check this out, guys. White lobsters. Let me move the light in a different way so it doesn't have a glare. But look, you see, I see them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see them? It's crazy. It's insane how many there are. There's so little. Look at them. With Lily's help, we were able to salvage every single white lobster. Here we go. Look. There's so many. A lot less than I thought. I thought we were going to actually have one million and everything. Oh, man. But I honestly think we weren't there in time to save them all. I didn't mean to let you guys down, but it happens. You got to be really quick, very attentive. But I was moving, so sorry. Anyways, guys, we did get to save these. We're going to move each and every one into their own tank. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this tank that we had before. It's kind of dirty because I went ahead and just scrubbed it and everything like that. It's still lobster safe. A lot of our blue lobsters were raised there. So mm -hmm. can you go ahead and let go of the light and pass that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, no, I don't want that one. I want the tree. And we're actually going to lay this tree sideways so they can go ahead and hide inside. There's also a hole on this side. This is like the breeding tree. Most of our lobsters were found with eggs in here. So it could be really good for our baby lobsters, like I said, temporarily because we have that big pond. So we went ahead and added some to this tank and as you can see, they're very, very small. These are probably the smallest lobsters I've produced as of yet. And they're adorable though. They're absolutely adorable. So cute. So guys, in the comments below, let me know if I should get in contact with predatory fins. And once, once they molt and they get pretty big, like shipping size, let me know if you guys wanna go ahead and purchase some or should I do a giveaway and give some lobsters away? Let me know in the comments below. I don't know if you guys can see, but inside the net, I have a few crawfish and I'm gonna let them go into their new home so they can grow big for future breeding as well. Come on. 
Come on. Babies. I don't like using this method. This method sucks. I like using the, the roller coaster version. The hose just allows them to get shipped right in. No problem. They don't get stuck on nets like this. So. Oh, this is hard. Oh, oh. I'm going to have to Whoa. pump them out like this. Whew. Release me. I release you. I release There's you. one. I release you again. There you go. They're getting out. They're floating around yeah. having a good time. So I think I got two more. And then I'm going to show you what Snowball looks like now because she's absolutely gorgeous. To close today's video, I want to go ahead and recap everything we did. We went ahead and saved beautiful white lobsters. And here they are, my beautiful white babies. And I added this in here so that's their shelter and it's perfect for them. And they will thrive and grow and make me money. No, I'm just joking. On a serious note, I'll be able to go ahead and have them breed and we'll be able to go ahead and give away some lobsters to my friends and to everybody and even use layers. And here we have the last tank with the last batch of babies and the one who did it all. The one that was perfect and came surprised from that delivery guy, Snowball. Couldn't have done it without you. You made it happen. First time on YouTube, you are a legend. You are an absolute slayer, and I appreciate you for being the best mom ever. And Lily, yes. thank you for helping me out. You're welcome. Best slayers, I will see you guys in the next slay venture. Booyah. <laughs>